horizontal linear weatherboard and vertical linear oblique. So the second house we're building in Ekaterra has got a higher stud 2.7. Today's episode of What's in the Bin, we've got Barista Bros. Uh, so we're off to Birchall and we're off to Akatarawa. At Birchall I'll tell you a little bit about the cladding we chose and our trick for how we deal with the junction of two claddings. At Akatarawa I'll tell you about stud height, what the different options are, what one job's chosen and what I chose on the section nobody wanted. Keep watching. Read that email to get you to the landscaping section. The ongoing implications of Auckland's longer extended lockdown means we can't get door hardware and window hardware. Guys are just inside doing the finishing trim and we've got the digger who's been doing driveway prep yesterday. Let's go and have a look. So we've just been doing some work on the existing house. We have done some painting and touch-ups inside and we're pouring a new pad and then we're going to do a fence down here and some planting, some landscaping and then this house is going to get listed on the market and we're going to finish this house and boom subdivision complete So this is an old Lockwood house and all we've done is repaint the ceiling, repaint all the skirtings, architraves, the window sills, we gave them all a sand back, repaired some rock and given them a fresh touch up. They look awesome. Pre-hung doors is like technically a builder should be able to do their own doors but it's just way easier for that stuff to get done. Kind of like how we get the pre-nail frames made off-site. Getting the doors hung off-site in a factory where he's got a jig and tables and everything's good to go makes it so much easier to do the work on-site. Just pop them in, nail them off, line it up. Oh. Yeah. Most important job, we've got to get the time-lapse camera mount. We should do a reminder of everything that this time-lapse camera caught right now. So this is another classic horizontal linear weatherboard and vertical linear oblique. Normally we always like to meet that in an internal junction. This is an exterior corner, this is an internal corner. It's always good to change your cladding on the internal corner, makes things really easy, nice clean way. So this side goes all the way around to the other side of the front door. This side goes that way to the front door. We 
We've got painters coming next week. Then we go hard floor install, kitchen install, carpet install, sparky, plumber, bench top. And that's about it, finished. Hey, dehumidifiers, time to go home. Ran all over lockdown and dried those frames out. Let's lift them up. Always before you leave, write a list of all the things you're thinking about because by the time you get to the next site you're gonna have forgotten everything on this site and while i'm doing this you should go ahead and smash the subscribe button and keep watching we'll head up to the akatara sites and see what the progress is like up there Let's check out this house. The um, roof is finished, cladding has started, windows are being delivered. Let's take a look. <laughs> Behind me on site, the guys are. Um, so we can pull this out too, we're going to save off cuts. Yo, so we've got some new signs and we've also, now that I've got a scrap bin at the office, we can take all of this gnarly metal stuff. We have started to set up a bit of a recycling centre at work. We're going to become timber hoarders. Today's episode of What's in the Bin, we've got Barista Bros, Mushroom Piles, and this thing. I don't know if it's an L or an F. <laughs> Or a G. <laughs> G and K. Man, I come to sight and my head explodes with like all the things I've seen that we need to do. Just gotta write it all down. So the second house we're building in Akutara has got a higher stud 2.7. Personally, um, I, at the section nobody wanted, I went for a 255 stud. 
So you got 2.4, 2.55, 2.7. 2.4 is the minimum standard. Probably what 80% of homes do. I think that 2.55 is enough of a noticeable difference. It's that kind of like slight upgrade, but it's one of those bang for buck upgrades. Let's cut the video there.